Okay, this is going to go with Chapter 8, Section 2, continuing our discussion of markup costs and determining how to determine the percentage. So, number one in the text there has a cost of a sink of $65, the markup is $50, and the selling price is $115. And they have a percentage markup based on the selling price of 43.5%. Well, how do they get that? Remember, markup is going to be that difference. So the difference here is at $50. So the difference is going to go over the original amount, but in this case, they're going to base it on selling price. So we're going to use that $115. So again, it's just calculator. So we would have 50 divided by 115 is equal to 43.34, and they're going to round that to the 5 and move the decimal over 2. Hence, the 43.5. Okay, so that's how they're getting these things. The next problem, number two, they don't give us the amount of the markup. We have to determine that. They give us the cost of the item and the selling price. So we have to do a subtraction problem then in order to get the markup price. So we would just subtract 43, or excuse me, yeah, 34, 44 from that and we would get then a difference of 1706 when we subtract. Okay, and now we want to know the markup based on the selling price. So we have the markup now, so that's going to be that 1706 and selling price 5150 and again it's just a calculator. So we would have 17.06 divided by 51.5 and we would have 33.12 so that's going to be 33.1 percent when we move that decimal over two spots. Okay. Now 5 and 6 have to go with the formulas in example 10 and 11 and you need to read those because you'll see that in a number of the exercises for homework. And number, example 10, goes with the magazine here, where they've given you the uh, markup based on cost, and they're at, you're asked to find the markup based on selling price. So they have a formula for that. And the formula is the percentage markup based on cost, which is this case is 60%, and they put that over 100% plus the markup based on cost. So we have 60% over 100 plus the 60%. So we have 60 over 160. And then we would just do that on a calculator again. So 60 divided by 160 equals 0.375. We're going to move that over two spots, right? So 37.5% is the markup based on selling price. And that's determined by formula. The other formula is given in number 11, where they have given a, a percentage markup based on the selling price, and they want to know the percentage markup based on cost. You don't need to know all of this other stuff that we've determined in some of the other problems. You can do it just by plugging into the formula. And this particular formula says you're going to have the percentage of markup based on the selling price, which in this case is 35, and that is going to be over 100% minus the markup based on the selling price. So here, problem before we added, here we're subtracting. So in this case then we have 35 over 65, both percents, but we're going to go away because we're going to do the math problem here. So 35 divided, divided by 65 equals 0.5384, so we move that over 2, so we're going to have 53.8. That's going to be a percent. Okay, so that's how to do this. It's all formula driven. So put those two formulas in your notes along with all the other formulas in the chapter because you're going to see those again. Okay, let's do a couple more of these story problems here or word problems here. Number eight, we have a bar of soap. The cost is 118, the markup. And so we are asked to determine the selling price percentage markup based on cost and the percentage markup based on the selling price. So we have a couple of problems to do. Well, the first one to get the selling price, we would just simply add those two. So when we add those two up, we would get 197. We got 100 or 118 plus 79. So that's our selling price. 
Okay, so percent markup based on cost. So our markup, we're going to use that 79 always. So 79 based on cost, 118. Again, we're just going to do calculator here. So 79 divided by 118, 66.94, so 66.9. You could just call it 67% would probably be just fine. So that's based on cost. So we're going to get 66.9 or 67. Either way, I would accept probably both of the answer. 66.9 is more technically correct because the 94 would round down instead of rounding up. So 66.9 is probably the best one. And then we're going to do the same thing based on selling price. So mark up 79 over 197 this time. So we have 79 divided by 197. Okay, and again, we're going to move it over to, so we have 40.1%. Okay. Pretty straightforward stuff. It just takes a little bit to do it. So let's do another one here. This is on a sofa, problem 10. They give us the selling price. They give us the markup based on the selling price. So, but none of the other information. We have to find those. Well, to get the markup of the selling price, we can just convert this to a decimal. So we have 1299, let me get it up a little higher for you, 1299 times the 55%. Okay, so get markup then was 174, excuse me, 114.45. All right, well, now we need to get the cost, so we would subtract, right, the selling price, subtract the markup, and then we're going to get 584.55. So now we have almost everything except the percentage markup based on cost, which is our last blank here. So the percentage markup based on cost, if we have the markup then is going to be, right, 714.14, and the cost is going to be 584.55. Again, we're just plugging it into the calculator. So we would have 714.45, I have to get it over on this side, I guess, since we're working on that side, divided by 584.55 equals 12222, repeat. So moving over to the decimal, 122.2%. Okay? So it's pretty straightforward. You just have to do the math nice and slow and easy, and I think you'll be fine. Let's do a couple of the word problems there to make sure we're, we're doing okay with converting these to word problems in. Number 14 states a distributor purchase tractors at a cost of $6,500 and sells them for $8,995. What is the amount of the markup? Well, the markup is going to be the difference between the cost and the selling price. So we would just subtract that. So we would have 8995 subtract 6595, so we have 2495. Right? Pretty straightforward stuff there. They're not trying to trick you or do anything weird. Okay, then they're asking you to do the markup based on selling price. Well, now we determine the markup, which is the 2495, and they're going to do based on selling price. Okay, the selling price is 89. Okay, so this is calculator again. Since I'm running out of room for calculator, it's just top divided by the bottom. And then we would get, yeah, I'll go ahead and show it to you. So we would have 2, 4, oops, too fast, 2495 divided by 8995 equals. Okay, so we're going to move that over then, and it's going to be 27.7% based on the selling price. That's the markup. Okay? Let's do one more. Let's do 20. Okay, if the markup is, this is on one of those formula-driven ones like we looked at in uh, 5 and 6 earlier. If the markup is over on an oven is 200% based on cost, what is the corresponding markup based on the selling price? 
Okay, so which formula are we going to use? Well, this is based on cost, so we're going to add. So we have 200 over 100 plus the 200. Because these are all percents, right? So we have 200% over 300%. And then we're just doing a division problem at that point. So that's going to be 0 0.66. 200 divided by 3, or really 2 thirds, is 0 0.666. Repeat and move the decimal over, we're going to make that 66.7% because that's a, a repeater. Okay, so it's formula driven. Things are pretty straightforward. You just have to keep track of exactly what you're doing and I think you'll be just fine. Have fun.